Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. So today, I want to talk about a little bit of stupidity I've seen. Um, these politicians, they just can't help themselves. They have to say something stupid or post something stupid every minute of every day. They, they, they cannot stop. They will not stop. So the latest bit of ridiculous I happen to run across, and I, I mean, I have a Twitter account. I don't use it very often because, you know, what? It, it's just Twitter is a bit of a cesspit, and I just don't really care for it <laughs> that much. So I go on every once in a while just to see a few things here or there or whatever. But I happen to run across this. Bernie Sanders, our racist president, emboldens bigots, xenophobes, and white supremacists as domestic terrorists commit horrific acts of violence across our country. As the proud son of an immigrant whose family was murdered by Nazis, I say we will defeat white nationalism. So it's kind of hard to even know where to start on this. And, I mean, obviously, you know, people had their says on it. I found this one interesting. It's nationalism, not white nationalism. I'm proud of my country. The USA is the greatest in the world. I'm patriotic, and I pledge allegiance to our flag. That's what nationalism is. You make it sound ugly because you're trying to divide us by creating chaos with lies. It won't work. It's absolutely true. I mean, these guys, they're so ridiculous. I mean, I had to put my own two cents in. Stupidest shit I've heard in a while. What about the leftist shooter in Ohio? Hmm. I guess facts don't matter when you have fake outreach. All politicians are liars and frauds and create false flag narratives to gain some importance. Please crawl back under your rock. I just, I, I can't, this this old wrinkled bastard and his crazy leftist, semi-commie views <laughs> is going to sit there and say white nationalism. You know, we got to stop, we got to stop waiting. Now, I think it's funny that jackasses like him can post this kind of shit on fucking Twitter with their little fucking tweets and they can get away with that shit. But you do any jokes about, uh white bad because you're making fun of the left uh, yeah people like YouTube they come after you don't you YouTube that shut them down because that's hate speech kiss my ass anyway what do you guys think about this ridiculousness I mean it's, it's just so stupid I mean these people they just gotta grab at any straws they can because they have nothing they're, they're emotionally devoid and bankrupt of anything that's substantial it's pathetic this freaking guy. This guy should have been dead years ago. Because <laughs> he, he, he's, he's an idiot. I mean, I, these old people, man. I, like some of these old people that are latching on to this socialism and the communist views and they think it's they think it's great. I mean, what about all the people that have come to this country? I've met plenty. I've met plenty of different jobs that I've worked at where they came from places like Russia. And they came from the communist era. And they said how horrible it was. They, they couldn't wait to leave. And when they were able to leave, they were happy. They were grateful to come to America. Why? Because they had opportunity. They weren't being oppressed. But you get idiots like this who thinks it's great. They think socialism and freaking communism are wonderful. Well, if it's so damn wonderful, why are people fucking rioting in Hong Kong? Freaking moron. You stupid old wrinkled turtle, please. Pull your head back in your shell and bury yourself in the sand. Nobody cares what you have to say, except people on the extreme left, the lunatics that think just like you. You know, the people that have outrage over that Monopoly socialism board. Does that kind of shit make you angry? Good. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this stupidity? Leave some comments down below if you like what you've seen. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will catch you all next time. Later, y'all.